Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Tom Mitchell's broken leg and how this will affect Hawthorne's 2019 season. Now before I start this video, if you guys are wondering where I have been, I'm actually going to, and planning on releasing an update video, which I don't know when it's going to come out, hopefully within the next week or so, but yeah, that should definitely come out and I'll basically just be talking about where I've been and all that stuff like that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I'm sure most of you guys know especially if you guys are Hawthorne supporters that Tom Mitchell has officially broken his leg and it's obviously not necessarily we don't really know when he's going to be healed and ready to play again presumably um broken legs do take a lot longer than most bones to heal definitely a lot longer than broken arms and stuff like that depends on the severity so it could take a long time it he might even be out for the whole season. That's what a lot of people think. And let's just say he is out for the whole season. Hawthorne lose their number one midfield. He's one of the reasons that Hawthorne did so well this year. The ball movement, um, the disposals that he gets. He even now kicks goals in a lot of games. I think a lot of people really um, didn't notice that a part of his games. Yes, he got a lot of disposals. And they most of the time were pretty crappy disposals. And that's why a lot of people can argue their case. that That's why he shouldn't have won the Brownlow medals. But he still kicked so many goals this year I think it was about 10 or so or something like that which is like um, one goal every two games so that's not bad and he's just done really well um, in the 2018 season and yeah you could argue whether those disposals were very good or whether they were crap or whatever but at the end of the day Hawthorne still made the finals even though it didn't end up the way they wanted it to a lot of people actually had Hawthorne back on the rebuild and I think of some people at Hawthorne even had them back on the rebuild but I, I always thought they were going to make the 8 this year. I don't know why. I just thought they were. And they ended up doing it. And they ended up finishing like 4th or something. So that was really good anyway. Basically what this could have on an impact for their 2019 season is. He's their number 1 inside midfielder. That's then basically their number 1 weakness. They don't really have a really good inside midfielder besides um, Tom Mitchell. O'Meara can go down, play forward. I think he even plays on the wing, but, you know, just stuff like that. Um, Tom Scully is injured. You got Liam Shields, but he's getting older and will probably start regressing soon. I think he's like 30 or something like that. I could be 100% wrong there, but yeah, he could start regressing a little bit soon. And um, yeah, Tom Mitchell was basically their number one midfielder. He was had so many, I think he had a bunch of score involvements too, and he he was one of the ones that started a couple of their plays, so I think this is going to really affect Hawthorne in a massive way. A couple of Hawthorne fans are still saying they reckon they will make the 8. To be honest, I don't know. I had Hawthorne at at least 6th or 7th spot for the 2019 season. I think they were going to fall back a little bit with like Essendon and teams like that getting a little bit higher in the leaderboard, and I just thought, yeah, Hawthorne maybe 6th or 7th, but now that he's this injury is a thing. Who knows? Um, if he's out for the whole year, I think Hawthorne might or maybe definitely try and change their plans. I think Hawthorne could end up finishing anywhere between 8 and 12, to be honest. I really don't know. There was a lot of Hawthorne um, supporters and definitely just a lot of AFL supporters in general just saying that... Um, they will obviously look at Stephen Canilio. I don't know if he's a free agent or he's up for trade, but either way, apparently, like they might definitely give him a look, and I think that's a really good suggestion to do because if Tom Scully doesn't get fifth this season, let's just say he also doesn't play a game or plays maybe a couple games towards the end of the season, I think another inside midfielder to help um, Tom Mitchell will definitely be an added bonus. In this scenario, I'm, I'm going to say they don't make the eight. They end up with pick number nine or something like that. Let's just say Canelio is not a free agent because I got completely no idea. Go off the Canelio in free agency, draft a good player. There you go. That's something really good that they could potentially do. If he is um, not a free agent, obviously try and trade that pick nine in a bundle to try and get Steven Canelio to your club. That's something that could happen. But since this injury has gone up, there's a lot of people talking about Hawthorne's future and what it's going to be beyond 2019 and over. And there's so many weird and ridiculous ones. I saw this one guy talking about how Hawthorne could actually um, tank the season completely. I think he was just joking, but who knows what could happen, honestly. It's just, it's really funny how we're looking at all this and yeah I definitely think it will affect them but not much as a lot of people think it will a lot of people are saying they're just gonna completely tank the season like that one guy saying they're gonna just gonna tank the season 
try and get a very good pick and use that for trade bundles and all that stuff or draft a really good young player. But to be honest, no, I doubt that would ever happen. And I think they will finish somewhere from 8th to 12th. And they will definitely try and go st um, for Stephen Canilio, most likely, depends if he's a free agent or a... Or he's up for trade. Who knows? But GWS will probably be looking to move him on as well as they want to sign players like Josh Kelly. So, who knows? You could also see a different way if maybe Stephen Canelio came to the Hawks and Josh Kelly went to North Melbourne. What you could look at for GWS if maybe they're falling apart or whatever. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I'm, I think it's very interesting. I think a lot of Hawthorne inter um supporters are definitely interested at the moment. And they're definitely having an interesting reaction to what people are thinking of their side. I don't know if most Hawthorne supporters even thought that everyone thinks that Tom Mitchell is legit carrying their team. So many people are basically saying now that Tom Mitchell is carrying their team, and without him, they're stuffed, basically, which, you know what? It's not right. He, they're not stuffed, but I don't think they'll be moving up, obviously, and I definitely think they'll be on the decline now that he is injured, and, yeah, it's just not good news for Hawthorne supporters, and... Um, Tom Mitchell fans, and just for Tom Mitchell himself, it's pretty shocking news that the Brownlow medalist has now gone down with a broken leg. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video on what will happen to Hawthorne basically now, 2019 and beyond that, Tom Mitchell has now broken his leg. Basically just a theory and all this um, stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below if you want more theorizing videos like this. And yeah, also leave a comment what you think will happen to Hawthorne. Where do you think they will finish on the leaderboard? Subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.